You know I love these. I just love everything about these. What are you made of? Interesting. I did pull this piece out. Made in Taiwan. It's vintage. This fish is kind of cool. What are you, my friend? So let's move along. Find ourselves in the plastics. Some big stuff. There's Wally. That's a very, very famous print right there. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I snuck out of the store a little bit early today to come to Goodwill and it is not, it's not senior day, but senior day is tomorrow. So I figure like, okay, Tuesday, Tuesday evening, they might not be that busy. And my store was super slow today. So if it's been super slow, there might be some really good things on the shelf. We're staying in our selective mode. We, I am liking it. I'm liking it a lot. And there's something really, really special is going to happen. I'm not sure if it's going to happen in this video or the next one, but you're going to want to watch, you're going to want to watch what's coming that's going to be right below the video coming soon. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it should be in the next one. But anyway, it's going to be an opportunity if you want to purchase an item from this video, you're just going to be able to go click and purchase. It's a beautiful thing. I think. I think we've got the infrastructure set up, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we got it in time for this video. If not, it should be the next one. Um, but very excited to get that little step in the process. Now, I am going to get in there and I am going to get shop done. Let's go. All right, let's get in here in the nice air conditioning and let's get our Lucky card time. Green? Oh, we switched to green. Is this the lucky card? Is this the, he says this is the lucky one. All right. Okay, we have our lucky cards. Still looking at cat stuff because we do have a cat sale coming up Wednesday the 23rd. This just needs a little bit of cleanup. It's nothing bad. And he's kind of fun. Now he is also a uh, designed by Taylor and how do you say that? Taylor and Ing? Kitty Catfish made in Japan. It's actually a vintage mug. It's $1.99. We'll take it. My goal is to start pre-loading that sale by this weekend. To have the things in there so you can go, if you can't be at the sale, you can do some pre-bids. I'll have some things in Marketplace that you can just buy outright. $7.99 on that little no-name little music box for five bucks. Not that exciting. You know I love these. I just love everything about these. The little painted, like they do this with sand. So it would sit this way. They put like the blue in and then they'd put the white in and just kind of gently push it down and form it into the clouds. And then they'll put the brown in and they'll push it and make it into the mountains. If you've ever watched them do it, it's quite fascinating. And they pack it in there really tight so it doesn't move. And now you've got this beautiful, beautiful paperweight. For $4.99, I'm gonna pick that one up. Let's see what these little vintage guys are. I thought they were salt and peppers, but they're not. They're little figurines. They're interesting, but I don't I don't think those are I don't think those are four dollars worth for me. Three ring display. Hmm, I'm thinking can I use this at the store? This these might be handy at the store. We don't have very many ring displays, so I'm gonna grab those for the store. Sometimes the first shelf is very, very good to me. Look at these little guys. Let's see. Oh, oh, everybody moves. Oh, look. It plays Small World. Oh, how adorable is that? Oh, it's trying to... Because it's got the little Turner thing there. It's $8. 
Oh, it's really, really cute. I kind of love it. Do I love it $8? I feel, I feel like that's a good buy for $8. I can do it. I've got a little, she precious moments? Yeah, precious moments trinket. Trinket box. <gasps> These are cards that I don't know anything about. There's that mom mug is still here. You're cute, but you're like, there's different qualities of resin, believe it or not. There's cheap resin, there's there's kind of heavy duty resin, there's detailed. This is the cheaper kind of just, you know, dare I say like dollar store quality resin that is not something that we're gonna be picking up. Oh my goodness, look at this giraffe. A giraffe in a tuxedo for $8. I think not, but he's cute. And there is Peter Rabbit. Again, cheap resin. You can tell by the weight and just the paint job, unfortunately. He's a no. And I know, I, I guess this was the store that I saw these at last time. And they're still here because they're red tag. But honestly, I just, I just can't fathom paying $15 for that. What are you made of? Interesting. $7.99. Oh, look at you. Very cute, but $10. I'm just not sure I see $10 there. I am so sorry, little owl. $12.99 on this teapot. Oh, cannot tell who makes it. As is also. Oh, it's broken. It's broken. Definitely can't pay $12.99 if it's broken. All right, made that decision easy enough. It's underneath this. All right, that's just an odd thing. Let's see. There's a moon and stars candle holder in the plain, plain, not plain, but white, clear, clear, not white. White would be milk glass, clear. And it's got some damage up at the top. I would buy a pair of those, uh, but not a singleton of that. I just don't see the value there. Got some eagles. Cute little bunnies. I am going to do Easter in August on... Oh, that's this upcoming Saturday. This upcoming Saturday will be Easter in August. Bunnies and duckies and flowers and all things that are kind of of that Easter theme and we're trying to make it a thing so if you are a reseller and you're on whatnot let me know if you uh, want to join in the fun of Easter in August we're kind of putting together a few sellers that, that want to do that and we want to make it a thing we want to make you know like Christmas in July we want to do Easter in August it's the new thing we're gonna start a trend Okay, I don't see anything in the candles. Got little wreaths on the end cap. These kind of caught my eye. I wonder where these were from. They're, they're nice, but they're, you know, they're not nice enough for me to put in the cart. We've got some patriotic gnomes up here. There you go. Don't fall. We're not going to pick up the patriotic gnome. Oh, let's see. Anything under here? No. What are you? You're a light of some kind. $4.99. I'm trying to see. It's, is it an I Oh, it is Ikea. It's an Ikea owl light. He's kind of fun. But I feel like the switch was right here maybe and it's not working. Something's missing. Something's missing on him. Unless I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe somebody can tell me if I'm looking at it wrong. How cute is this paper? Oh my gosh. Look at the faces on the Santa and the deer. Very cute. Oh, get back up there. There we go. Stay. Oh, 
it's empty. Port Marion T for one, but it's just the empty box, which is a bummer. Oh, you're on and you're not doing anything except just kind of grumbling. That is unfortunate. Let's see what we got. Yeah, nothing on this shelf. I like that pink tinsel tree, I'm not gonna lie. But I am not gonna get it. I'm gonna be good and selective. What are you? Oh, you're supposed to look like little bulbs. Those are really cute. I'm now I'm not I'm thinking of my assemblage. I'm thinking that these would be really, really cute. That's only two dollars for that bag full. I'm grabbing them. So I have exciting things happening at the house. I have some organizers coming to help me on Thursday of this week to get the garage back in order, get me my space to make my little crafties. Now this bag looks good. Look at this. There are not one, but two sugar skulls in there. There is a fragile lamp, leg lamp ornament. There's a Kringle craft ornament. I do believe he's a good one. And there are a couple of more Hallmark ornaments. So one, two, three, four, five. There's seven pieces in here for five bucks. We're gonna grab those. And I see a little dove that looks to be good quality. It is $6. It's made in Japan, which is nice, and it's bone china. But he's probably a $10 to $12 dove, so we can't pay six. We will leave that for somebody else. Oh, birds. Hello, birdies. Birdies in a bag. Little chickadee. Another little bird for $4. All right, watch me. Watch me do it. I'm going to leave those. I did pull this piece out. Made in Taiwan. It's vintage. It's pretty. But I just don't know. It's five bucks. I mean, that's a good price. I just, yeah, going to be selective. It does not excite me too much. Oh, look at these. Very cute. Just not a lot of resale value. Moppets, Gorum. And I don't want to deal with plates. I'll put a value up on the screen. I'll do a little little research as I'm making the video and I'll show you kind of what they sell for. Is this another one? No, he's different. Christmas memories. Very cute. Very cute. I hope somebody does save those. Keeps them out of the landfill. All right. No Christmas mugs. Oh, he's still here. That's because he's $15. Half price day though, he'd be a good pickup. Let's look over here. This basket caught my eye. Kind of like it, but it's very, very lightweight. Yeah, it's very lightweight. Little, little butt basket with some fake flowerage on it. Not too exciting. Nope, made in China. It's this one. Nope, made in China. Got a little cedar box elaine these are good guys 2.99 that's a great price on this it's got some roughness to it i don't know it's almost like the i don't know what happened there it's like the um finish kind of came up a little bit but that could be sanded and somebody could bring that right back to good condition for 2.99 that's a great price i'm gonna do it Okay, just gone through and straightened up this little section. It's kind of nice to uh, shop it. Oh, that's one whole big piece. I thought that was just this little thing here. Oh, hello. Hello, little uh, Perry sculpture. John Perry. Oh, he's missing. He's missing an arm. I know it's not an arm, it's a fin. I know that. Gosh darn it, that breaks my heart. I can't, I can't do it. I can't pay eight bucks for him. I have to be a little pickier than that. You know what, I would rescue him at some point though. 
I'm sure somebody will, because he displays very nicely. Does running behind count as exercise? <laughs> okay, that's just funny right there. And valid. <laughs> what are you? We've got a tile on the top. Who makes you? Wood Rhapsody from Upland, California for $7. Yeah, I don't know. Not extremely exciting. I do like the shelf though. Oh, it's missing its shelfy part. That's too bad. Fish is kind of cool. What are you, my friend? Are you supposed to be like a cutting board? I'm not sure. You're just kind of fun. Oh, Cocopelli. Yes, it is. Fun stuff, but nothing that needs to go in the cart. Nice little bunches of tulips. But we're gonna pass. I have found many, many, many of my fake flowers and plants, which I'm super excited about. Hotel and restaurant employees, bartenders, International Union House. That's interesting. Oh, little musical note. What are you, a phone stand? I think you are a phone stand. That's cute. Ooh. That is the Irish. Was it the Clodagh, or is it Irish or Scottish? The Clodagh Heart, isn't that what it's called? Trivet? I feel like that's kind of a cool piece. I may look this one up. You know what, I'm gonna stick it in the cart and I'm gonna look it up and let's see what it's worth. Okay, just a really quick search. I found one for 30 bucks on eBay, so I'm gonna take a chance on that. Just a little quick research. I'll do a more thorough research before I do the recap at the end. So stay tuned for that. And then my haul at the end where I really go through things and show you and talk to you more. This is cool. Where would I put this? Could this go in my office? I don't know. I need lighting really, really bad. And I feel like it's 40 bucks. If it's good and if it works, it's great. I'm gonna take this down and see how, what condition it's in. Well, that's disappointing. It's actually dishes. <laughs> They're Sango dishes. Okay, never mind. Oh, let's look through some vases. Where are all these in the box? Look at these little Polish, right? Willow glass vase, eight inch. Tuscany imports, not Polish. They look like Polish glass. Very sweet little bud vases. Or vases, however you like to say it. Oh, he's cute. Let's see. Harry and David. A little rough on the inside. Holds that little guy. Is that for drainage then? Is that why you do the pot in the pot kind of a thing? I don't know. It's terracotta for five dollars. That's kind of a nice piece with the the birds. I know there's a name for those birds. I'll research it. I'll have that at the end because I am gonna pick this up for five dollars. All right, this is an interesting piece of pottery. Look at the brass and copper overlay on that. It's not really my style. It, I don't get excited about this decorating style, but I know that can probably be worth some money. And let's see, a little garden sculpture. I'm super excited to start working out in my garden and getting some things in place, but I'm prioritizing the house first. That's a pretty piece of pottery. I like the blue glaze on that. Look at that. And it's low and it's $4. You know what? I'm grabbing that. If I don't sell it, I'm going to plant something in it. This is the blessing and the curse of thrift shopping so often is that you find really good things for yourself. 
but I'm gonna go out with the old and in with the new as I am going through my garage. This looks like Longa Burger, but it's not. It's Teleflora copying Longa Burger. Look up. No, I thought maybe that went with it somehow. It doesn't. You know, Noah saw this and thought this was a really awesome little succulent. So I'm gonna grab this and add this to Noah's little succulent collection. Oh boy. You know I love me some ceramic fruit on a rope. Let's see. Or veggies, I should say. Well, I see the watermelon. So it's fruits and veggies, actually. And you are only $6. We will grab you. Let's see what else is hiding down here. There might, might be more goodies. See bunnies. What is this? Oh, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is the stuff that uh, I just absolutely love. Look at that. Is it macro? It's macrame, right? Macrame corn. What? What? For $5. I love it. I love it. Looking over here on the end. You're fun. You're a little peacock hanging kind of a thing, but you're not really good quality. So let's move along, find ourselves in the plastics. Oh, I thought, I thought this was one of those things where you push the bottom and the little animal inside kind of dances. I was kind of hoping that's what it was actually, but it's not, it's not. Oh goodness. I don't see anything here today that piques my interest. All right, I see a little teapot here. It's cute, bamboo handle, not very old. So I'm gonna leave that one. Dishes, dishes, dishes. Nothing too exciting in the dishes. I don't know if you guys can hear that music, but somebody made a comment about they wished I would just shut up. And I gotta tell you, I wish I could just shut up too. But if I just shut up, that music is gonna dig me and then I can't put out a video. So, that is why I keep talking. Make a wish, Becca. That's very sweet. And then it's, oh look, it's a cat and it's Easter. Which sale would I put it in? The cat sale or the Easter in August? No, neither. We're gonna leave you right there. Oh, let's see, let's see. Those are fun. I mean, not fun, more elegant. Fun to find, because you don't often see them. But very elegant, like the gold rimmed dishes. Can you imagine the fancy schmancy table set you would make with those? Very, very elegant. Look at the little Diva bunny. Diva by Revelations Inc. Brandy. Oh, Brandy. I'm going to leave you. Gosh, things are just bouncing on the shelf. I wonder what's in the box. What's really funny is I used to live in La Habra, California. CVS Distribution. What are you? What's in there? What's in the box? Oh, it's a chair. There's a chair in the box. Look at that. Oh, Cheshire Cat. Not in very good shape. Somebody painted that on a Corel cup. And let's see. Nothing too exciting in the mugs today. I like to sell mugs over on Whatnot. It's just a more, you know, like kind of a personal experience to offer a mug that somebody's got a specific purpose for it. Are these naughty penguins? They are naughty penguins, aren't they? That's that, that Taylor and Ing. It's $2.99. These actually sell really well. We'll pick that one up. Margarita pictures. See some parrots on a mug. We don't need that. I discovered that we have plenty of cups 
plenty of mugs and plenty of dishes at my house. Probably have to make some decisions and get rid of some. But that will come. First was just get them all unpacked. That was like the first order of business. That's that's a neat glass, but it's a singleton. We'll leave that. These are fun. Vintage. Uh, it's the Say When shot glass. Not worth a whole bunch, so we'll leave that one. But definitely a vintage piece. All right, nothing else in the glasses. Oh, let's see. It's a pretty picture. I know, I see that little kitty. I can't believe they still have more of this stuff. Didn't even sell on Dollar Day. What does that tell you? Little jars, cute. Nothing that we need there. I can tell already she's kind of a cheap resin, yep. Don't need her. All right, I don't see anything too enticing here. If I miss something you think I should have picked up, please let me know down in the comments. I love to know your thoughts on things. That's how I learned too. Those are really nice coasters. They are stone, made in India, $2.99. Usually I can sell coasters for 12 to $15 all day long. And these are really, really nice with that inlaid wood in them. I can't see the condition of all of them. So I just have to assume that they're all in good shape, but it looks like it. So we're gonna go ahead and pick those up. Buying decisions have to be made on what is good for your business model. So that's something if you're new, you're gonna learn it. You're gonna learn fairly quickly you know what people want and what they don't want and then you find more of what they want and you buy less of what they don't want shake it till you make it and don't be so salty those are just really fun they're four dollars again this is probably 10 to 12 10 to 12 i could sell these on whatnot <sighs> decisions decisions i think i'm gonna leave them i think i'm gonna leave them just because i have so many specific themed sales coming up I don't know where they'll fit in, so I wouldn't be able to flip them that quickly. It's a nice little emerald green. All right, kitchen goodies. Mom's kitchen. Nope, I don't have a mom's kitchen. I have a Noah's kitchen. He lets me in it. <laughs> we're, a, we're a family teamwork. You know, I say things sometimes and people take them far too seriously. Uh, we all work together as a family. The kids are helping unpack. The kids are helping cook. The kids are helping with dishes. The kids are taking out the trash. The kids are taking care of the animals. So the kids absolutely pull their weight. I just don't show it all on video and I don't talk about it a whole lot. But rest assured, my kids do help out in the house. What in the world are those? Star Wars. Oh, I bet these, bet these have some value. A lot of this kind of stuff, like the stuff that comes from Disneyland and stuff, and it has a bit of value because people collect the stuff. You know what? It, I'm going to leave that for somebody else. It's just not my niche. Not my niche. I'm going to leave it because I am in selective mode. Selective mode it is. Card games, gift set. Let's see what that is. What is under here? It's like a score. Oh, it's like a book of card games. And then there's cards and dice. It's kind of nice. Don't need it though. Don't need it. Oh, let's see. Was this the store that those fun little swirly things? No, I think that was another store. I think I'm going to go to that store tomorrow. So hopefully they'll be there because somebody told me I, those are for soda in the fridge. I'm like, oh, duh. And I could use those because I put a lot of soda in the fridge. Little end cap of goodies. Let's see what we've got. It's an interesting bag full of things. Napkin rings. 
miscellaneous napkin rings. I like this little colorful tape, little project tape. Don't need it though, don't need it. I need to have some magnets made that say, don't need it, don't need it. This is their crafty section. It says stone coasters. It's a big box for stone coasters. Oh, I can tell they're not all there. There's like a holder in there and there's a lot of reach before you get to a coaster. So I'm not gonna look any further on that. What are you? What are they like bags? Graduation bags. Grad, grad bags. Sometimes I pick up stuff like that for the store. We can use that like when we sell a little piece of jewelry or a small item and they want just a little bag. If you can find the stuff for, you know, cheaper than you can get it, you know, I, we don't pay retail, we pay wholesale, but still, sometimes the thrift store is even cheaper. So if we can get it cheaper, we're gonna get it cheaper and we're gonna save the store some money. Pet section. See what we've got. They got a sock monkey for a, a pet. No, he's a dandy. He's not meant for pets. What is that? Little sugar cookie dog toy. Okay, that's that's cute. But we don't need it. Peanut definitely has plenty of toys. Does not need any more. And I don't see anything else here. All right, let's look through the art. I am drawn to this kind of a 3D kind of thing here. I don't know if you can see like the depth in that. It's just really cool. 20 bucks though. Don't need it for 20 bucks. Now this, on the other hand, are you real coral in there? No, I think you're plastic. If that had been real coral, I'd have been really hard pressed not to get it. Because I do have a little bit of an ocean theme going on in my room. Look at this. What do we got? What do we have here? Woo! Falling art. That's what we have. Okay. Let me look. Wizard of Oz 50th anniversary. What is this though? It's um, 1989 from Dow Brands. Hmm, that's intriguing. It's 25. I'm gonna look this one up. All right, one seller has it for $12, another for 20, so definitely not worth paying 25 for. That's too bad. Some Norman Rockwells. Airplane art, NASCAR, interesting. Ooh, there's a little sampler back here. That definitely has some age on it. It's got a date, 1985. I would have thought it was older than that, to tell you the truth. It's $7.99. I would sell this out of this frame because I don't want to ship it in the glass in the frame so that's a really easy ship if you do that so I am gonna pick this up come back over see what else is over here I saw that United States of America it looks like something I remember seeing as a kid Marmont nice 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 but not nice enough to pick up. There's some big stuff. There's Wally. -E. That's a very, very famous print right there. Very, very famous print. I had a smaller antique version of this print. I'm going to guess that this is about a 1970s version of it based on the way that it is framed. I forget the name of this print. Super famous print. I am going to pick this up for $5.99. Okay, we're kind of on a roll in the art. This is what happens when you don't want to find art. Here's another Wizard of Oz. Po oh, there's a couple of Wizard of Oz posters. 
Let's see what this one is. This one's $15. This was a 1939, 1967 MGM Litho. All right, I might look that one up. And then there's another one back here. This one's 25. Hmm. I don't know about that one, but you know what? I'll give them a quick look up. Well, the Wi-Fi connection in here is not very good. Or actually, I should say the uh, cell reception is not very good. So this one, I couldn't get any results. This one, I did find one listed on eBay for $39.99. Um, so $40, it's $15. That's not bad. It's not a bad margin, but I think I'm going to leave that for somebody else who just uh, specializes a little bit more in that kind of a stuff. Michelangelo poster. No, oh, 90s art. Ooh, this is still here. It's still here. And I still didn't find anything about this artist. So we are still going to pass by. Actually, I'm trying to remember. It was green tags. Was it green tags that are 50% off now? And that would be 50% off. I just don't. I just, it's too big. Too big to deal with. It could actually end up being something really good. I just, I just can't be dealing with it right now. Some photography. There's those, I think these were here last time, these butterfly little prints. It's really fun. The previous owners of the house uh, must have had a thing for butterflies because I keep finding little butterflies just in unexpected places. There's butterflies everywhere that they left behind. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun to find all of the butterflies. All right. I don't see anything enticing me in this section either. Let's peek in the lamps. They've got some nice little hurricane boudoir type lamps. Very, very damaged. And then there's this one over here. Would have had a similar shade like that. I do like the painting on the base of this, but it, it needs its shade. Looking in here for maybe some kind of a lighting apparatus that I could hang. I Ikea, that's where I need to go. I need to go to Ikea to find a light. Why didn't I even think of that? I did peruse through the furniture to see if there was anything that I couldn't live without. And no, there's nothing. Nothing that I can't live without in the furniture. We are going to the miscellaneous fabrics. Sometimes I find some really fun things here. Let's see what we have tonight. Somebody was telling me they wished I'd have bought some of these. I think they're chair pads. I think that's what they're oh something sounded bad let me just drop something over there i think that's what these must be even though it says area rugs i just don't know guys i just i don't think they have enough value i mean for personal use somebody could pick them up for me as a reseller you know i gotta i gotta triple my money i gotta triple my money to make the time worthwhile to turn around and sell things this this is a business for me so I have to leave those. Little doilies. I've got plenty of doilies right now. Not doing any textiles type sales for a while. Curtains. I'm still looking for curtains for the house. I'm just not spending a lot of money on my own stuff. I know where to get the curtains that I want. I'm just, I'm just waiting. Piece at a time. Being patient. Waiting for fourth quarter. All right, let's peek through the pillows. Why do you say waiting for fourth quarter? Well, that is because that's when sales pick up. That's when resellers can kind of recoup from a slow summer. And it's been an especially slow summer. I must say, it's been slow in my brick and mortar store and it has been slow online. And I know there's others feeling the pinch even bigger than I have been. So we have to run our business in a way that we, we know better things are coming. So we just have to be smart and hold back on purchases and then when times are better then we can take care of some of those things but i don't see anything exciting here tonight all right let's look through the purses 
we don't have a good discount tonight so usually that means I don't come away with purses just because of the way they price them a Lulu Lulu purse $6.99 is that a thing is Lulu a thing it's kind of cute Michael Kors that does not look good quality. It doesn't feel good quality. I am doubting the legitimacy of the Michael Kors. What is that? Whose symbol is that? Who are you? I don't know. You're pretty worn out, though. Let's see. Oh. Oh, of course you're $40. $40 Hello Kitties. Their Disney lounge fly though. Ooh, let's look up and see what these are selling for. If they sell for a hundred bucks. Forty wouldn't be so bad, now would it? I can get them to stop. Ah! Get them to sit in the cart. Okay. Cooperate. Cooperate, kitty. There you go. Stand by. Well, you can get this little purse on Amazon for fifty bucks. So lots of savings if you come in here and buy it, but definitely not a reseller price. There's three different versions of it. You don't often find lounge fly at the Goodwill. So to find three, that's pretty unusual. All right, let's look through the toys and the plush. <laughs> Joking hazard, an offensive card game from Cyanide and Happiness. Well, let's see. Oh goodness, that's, that's not good. <laughs> Snoopies. Oh, look at your little face. Oh, where are you going, Cart? You leaving me? You've decided to spring off on your own? I'm finding one of the best places to find poo and other plushies is at yard sales. People really just love to sell their plush super cheap. $5 on the Build-A-Bear little German Shepherd, it's cute. I just don't need any plush right now, so it would need to be super special for me to pick it up. Okay, who are you? Nightmare Before Christmas, Squishmallow? You are. How much are you? You are $5.99. Okay, I might, not might, I will. I will look this one up. All right, looks like this is a 25 to $30 Squishmallow, so we'll pay six bucks for it, sure. All right, there's quite a few of these squishies up here, but most of them just are not selling for very good money anymore because of that race to the bottom syndrome. Okay, that duck's kind of fun. Oh, he's a Six Flags, Six Flags duck. I do have my plush store open. I don't, I'm, we're just still getting it loaded, um, but it's utterly good plush. And uh, we're just gonna keep adding new things to it every day. Okay, there was one little section I missed because there was quite a few people over here shopping, so I kind of bypassed it. So we'll come by and take a peek before I head to the checkout. Ooh, you guys are heavy. Heavy little dudes. This plate back here looks, oh, they're tin. Oh, I like that. You can deal with tin plates. It's $5 a plate though. Again, this is something I might take a quick peek and see if it's something that has the value to pay $5 for it. Stand by. All right, whoops. One, two, three, and four. They are worth about 30 to 40 dollars a piece so i'm gonna grab four of those at five dollars a piece i do like those kind of margins what does this say shivas regal or is it shivas regal am i trying to make it too fancy all right i think that was the thing to find on these shelves all right, one last little stop before we check out is in the jewelry. See if we find anything worth looking closer at or 
just saying, yes, we're grabbing that. Oh, look at those little ghost earrings. Those are super cute. Don't know if they're cute enough to buy, but they are cute. Let's look through here. Nothing's really grabbing my attention. That's kind of boho and interesting. That's kind of interesting. I don't know that if it is that I don't know if it is worth waiting for somebody to come and take it out of the case and show it to me though. Gotta tell you. All right, we're gonna head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. And then after that, we'll go into a further deep dive. So stick around. I'll be right back. got the humidity going I gotta tell you it Vegas is mostly a dry heat except in August when we have monsoons and then it's a wet heat and then it's like you know 105 and super humid uh, I feel really good about that shopping trip you've seen the recap you've seen the values now I'm gonna go into a little bit deeper dive on a few of those items and bougie is going to give his opinion as well that's coming up right now Okay, it is time for the haul and the opinion of one very, very opinionated Quaker parrot. This is Bougie. Many of you know him. Yes? Are you saying hi? Hi. Hi. Something you want? <laughs> oh, he's going to laugh. All right, let's get to the deep dive on the things that I found. So I'm still working on my lighting. This is this is my light without the shades on it. This is all I've got right now that we're uh, we're working with, but it's okay. We're a, we are a work in progress. That's what we are, right, Boosh? Yes, we are. So here are the items that I came away with. So these are both the Taylor and Ing. Taylor and Ing is the maker on these mugs. They make very collectible mugs. There's a whole series of these naughty animal mugs, by the way. Uh, those do really, really well, as you saw in the recap. So I always pick up the Taylor and Ings. Ah, uh, the paperweight, this is probably, you know, they just don't bring that much, but I just love them so much. I like to preserve them. So that's gonna go over on whatnot. Those mugs 
are going to go over on whatnot. The cat, of course, is going to go into the cat sale. This fantastic little guy here. Oh, I got to wind it up. Stand by. Just cute. Just cute. There's only been one that has sold on eBay for 25 and there's no others that I could find listed. Doesn't mean they're not out there. Just means they're not readily out there. So this is one of those items that I feel pretty confident will bring, you know, the 25 to $30 range. And the best part about it is you can shut it off with a switch. Here's these little guys out of the package. They're nothing fancy or anything. These are definitely going to be used in one of my little assemblage projects. I don't know what it's going to look like yet, but that's what I bought these for um, because they are just cute and they are going to go in something Christmas themed. Um, this is the Lane little salesman sample uh, cedar chest. Why does it say Cali Furniture? Oh, I thought it I thought it was a misspelling of Cali, like California Calif, but no, it's C-A-L-E-F Furniture Company. So they they made these for all the different furniture companies that um, were selling the Lane Cedar Chest at the time. Now this does not have its key, but $2.99 is a spectacular price. Uh, if this was in better shape and it had the key, it would probably go for double what you saw in the recap which is, I put 25 to 30, double. These things sell for $50 and up if they're in really good condition with the key. So always pick those up. Um, these I got for the store, little ring displays. Always love to find things for the store. Oh, stand by. I meant to take those out. Okay, all fixed. So these are really cool because they're like a marble with this little inlaid wood stripe. Super pretty. They got the like the gray marbling in them. They're all in good condition. They've got little felt feet on the bottom. So that was a good that was a good pickup. I said 12 to 15 in the recap, and now that I look at them, I might be able to get a little bit more, more like 15 to 20 on these because they're super good quality. So yay. This, I was right, is the Irish Claw Dag Heart Trivet. There is one that's sold for $29.99, so that is what I would price that one at if I do put that on eBay. It probably will go on whatnot, though, and I'll let you guys decide what it goes for. I'm looking at my little cheat sheet here. Oh, this piece. So I thought it had a really good quality look. Sometimes I just pick stuff up based on that. You... You look at it and you go, that's just really nice. These are Thunderbirds. And this is Francoma. This is a Francoma a canteen vase. And they come in different colors and they do really super well. And then this little guy ends up being for a bonsai or cactus. You could put succulents in it too, but these shallow, shallow planters tend to be a, a bonsai or succulent planter. And they are a very, very uh, trendy right now, apparently, because these sell for some pretty good money, too, as you can see. And, uh, you guys, what do you say? What do you say about crocheted or macrame corn? I don't know. I still don't know. I, I still am leaning towards macrame just because of the little frizzles on the end and the texture of the yarn that was used. This is just, this is just fun stuff right here. And in the fall season, I would actually decorate with this because I really love it. It's just one of those things. You're not going to find a whole lot of comps out there because it's handmade. It's a one-of-a-kind piece. And I'm sure as much as I love this, there's somebody else that would love it just as much. And as I said, I'm always picking up the ceramic fruits and vegetables peekaboo. Uh, and so I don't hesitate to buy these knowing that I can get $25 to $30 consistently. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Do you want tickle, tickle? Tickle, tickle? Tickle, tickle? I'm not giving him my finger because I don't want him to eat my nail polish. Sorry, babe. No nail polish for you. 
Okay, I got super excited when I looked up a comp that showed uh, one of these uh, listed for $15. Actually, I think I think I found a sold for $15. But in further scrutinizing, they're not bad. They're not bad. Um, $5 a piece was still a really good price. They are like an enamel wear. I said tin, but I, I technically they're enamel wear. And uh, yeah, yeah, $15 a piece is right. <laughs> so I will sell them as a set of four though for 60 to 70 as I showed you. Because sometimes if you sell something as a set where it's $15 a piece, you can bump that up just a little bit because it's a set. So super cool find. So here's the little baggie of ornaments that I picked up. The sugar skulls are what actually caused me to buy that bag. Uh, I knew these were at least $10 to $12. I was right. That's about what they sell for right now. Different time of year, they could be even more. But right now, $10 to $12. Uh, I remembered that the uh, Crinkle Craft was a good ornament. I'm looking to see if there's any damage. Nope, he's all there. He's in 1993. This one right here sells for 12 to 15. The leg lamp. What can you say? The leg lamps are so popular no matter where you find them, what who makes them, what the form is. These leg lamps just sell, sell, sell. 15 to 20 on that. And then these are not, you know, so valuable, so to speak. I'll I'll probably wait till Christmas uh and put these in a whatnot sale, you know, just kind of a choice thing, but right now Mm, three to five dollars a piece on an ornament like this closer to Christmas they can bring more like eight to ten ish so but if you add that all up what even if they're like 10 20 30 40 I mean this is over 50 bucks worth of ornaments that I got for five so I'm super happy with that purchase so this is known as a a sampler uh, and it's because of the different things someone was learning to do, learning to do some numbers, some letters, some graphics, uh, some words. So they call it a sampler. And uh, this is a cross stitch. I do believe this is a cross stitch. Yes, it is. Oh, my light just went out. Hold on. Okay, we're just going to have to do this with a little bit of low light. He uh, had to flip the breaker because he's putting an air conditioner in for Noah. <laughs> We're going to get this light situation figured out soon. Anyway, I love that this one is dated 1985, JLM, the maker. I will sell this out of the frame. Unless somebody wants to buy it locally, then I would just, I, I might try that. I might put it in the shop first if, you know, if somebody wants to just buy it the way it is. And if it doesn't sell that way, then I would put it online, but not in the frame. Because now I can just, you know roll it up, tissue paper, boom diddy boom and it will be on its way. Now, if you find the super old samplers, like we're talking the 1800s, early 1900s, those are super valuable and a really good find when you can get them. So the name of this print, as you saw, is called Found. It is by an artist named Walter Hunt. Very, very famous uh, painting. And that's what a print is. It's just a, it's a printed copy of a painting. Uh, but the subject matter of this makes this one forever popular. Uh, it is the dog, the collie dog that found the little lost sheep. And there's a lot of meaning in that for, for many. Uh, it can be a Christian reference. Uh, it, the, the lamb, the lost little lamb is just really an emotional connection. And then who doesn't love, you know, a dog that finds a little lamb. So this was a, a, a really, really good pickup for $5.99. I'm super happy I found it. And then there's the Squishmallow. Now I don't pick up too many Squishmallows anymore because it's one of those things where it's been a race to the bottom on pricing. But Disney and Squishmallow, still very good names together. Nightmare Before Christmas, everybody loves. So this one has enough value to have picked it up and this will go into my plush store. And that is today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think? Think it was a good one? Yeah? You want a pistachio? Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> He'll get one. He'll get one when we're done. All right, everybody. Go be profitable. And dance. Are you dancing? 
You can dance. Make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.